Good day, fine people. A very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick on the ZX Spectrum 128K, playing this like an adventure game called Blood Valley. It was published by Gremlin Graphics in 1987, also came out on the Commodore 64 and the Amstrad CPC. Um, it's based on the Duel Master fighting fantasy adventure books, if you've ever come across any of those. Um, yes, so basically, we're in some uh, valley and we need to uh, escape. Uh, so option of about three characters will go on keyboard here, but Archivolt, I think, the hideous leader of uh, the Fire Drake, has, has said you must be hunted down. Obviously, they've had an argument about something. Uh, maybe you've eaten their donut. Anyways, in the fantasy world of Orb, we must escape the Valley of the Gad, and there'll be stuff to try and stop us. There's the three uh, characters. There will be the Barbarian, first of all. He looks like a nincompoop, but never mind. Looks uh, uh, angry about something. As he's going to be progressed by, um, or chased by vampires, Empires, trolls, uh, robbers, um, demons, and also henchmen. So here I am up here. Now, oh my god, essentially it's a two player game where one person plays the uh, um, huntsman and one person the prey, but I'm just one player, so uh, you know, here we go. It looks pretty bad at the moment. Anyway, music go, we just got stabbing. We can bring up items we can collect by pressing up when nothing else is on the screen. Here we go. Now it's an adventure game, so a map would be useful, which I haven't got. So we need to roam around the place. Eventually, I hope there'll be options like North, East, South and West, like any good adventure game. If I'm not very good at it, I will put it on with a poke, just so we can get a bit further to see what else is there. Oh God, let's see what else is there. So, gold collecting none, score 66, you can see Day on the right there, uh, ticking up. The quarry is dead, well that was, that was quite brief, wasn't it? So these games aren't about expert gameplay, they're about seeing how you would have got on on your first or second go, and would have been enough to you to play it again. Now, it's interesting in a way, but it's not using the full screen in, in one player at least. If you played it in two player, then let me know. Uh, so that's gold there I can collect maybe if I press it down. There we go, gold is up to two, well done us. Uh, there's food that lays around when you kill various uh, creatures here. Have you completed this? Then let me know. As I say, this is my first go on the thing, so it'd be almost like I don't know what I'm doing. Almost? Well, yeah, almost. Ah, thank you everyone that subscribed as I try and zip my way through here. We're playing as kids, uh, not as the adult shaking their head in the background. It's all about easing stress, this one. Here we go, here we go. Let's see how far we can get into this promised land of orb. If you're a vampire, troll, robber, demon or a henchman, then comment below as we go into the jungle at this time around. Big thank you to the subscribers. If you haven't already, please consider doing so. That helps it continue. We've reviewed loads and loads and loads of stuff by now. If you want to see everything, click on the playlist and, uh, well, click on my username. That'll take you to the channel page. Click on playlist tab and they'll be all there in a different playlist of different systems. Buff, right, let's take an him. Take that big nose. Right, it's fire. Can we walk through that? No, we can't as we get burned to a crisp. 1987. There's a 48k version of this as well. Uh, I think it plays more or less the same, but without the music. I'm unfamiliar with the Jewel Master fighting fantasy adventure books, but apparently there was one called Blood Valley, and that's what this is based on. Um, back in the day, I did have some choose your own adventure books. Uh, there, I think Planet of the um, Escape from the Planet of the Ant People was one, but I never, I never knew about this. You know those ones you had to throw darts. I don't know what that crown did. Uh, one, you have to um, throw a dice, not darts. That, that's not. Uh, popular in the library. Uh, you have to you have to throw a dice and based on that it depends if you won the battle or not. But any kid worth their sort of they'd lost they just throw the dice again. It's all done on trust really. So Archivolt is after us. There's an annual competition where they chase after a poor nincompoop. Uh, this is me, the barbarian, and you can only stab there's no other moves apart from that, left and right. Uh, stamina gradually goes down, you can see in that sword uh, there underneath stamina. Once that's all drained, you're dead. Uh, picking up food, I think, will uh, make the energy go up a bit more. But look, it's, it's a bit great in this, the way it changes locations. Each character you pick, if it's a barbarian, the thief, or the other one, will... Um, Yes, the priest uh, will give you a different mission. The quarry's dead. Now, I think I will reload this uh, with a poke on it, just to see it a little bit further, maybe pick a different character to see if the gameplay changes. See the objectives? That's what we need to do. Back in the groove, I've selected the same controls again, redefinable. Let's take the priest out, he doesn't look like a violent man. He's got a stick with a big purple thing on the front, which looks not too dissimilar 
uh, to that robot that goes backward and forward in Manic Minor, although that is yellow. Maybe he killed him and painted him. Uh, this priest is a dodgy looking fellow. So the barbarian was all out fighting. We will edit down these low times. If you play it yourself, it might last a little bit longer. Biff! Right, here's the priest, and it looks like it's exactly the same gameplay. So, you know, see the objectives below. Uh, defeat the Arc Vault, if that's what it says. Destroy Malface, Vice. Uh, destroy Lord Tobias, slay the de Demi Velot. Oh, I hope you're getting all this. Right. At least you've got an option of three characters, but it looks like the gameplay is exactly the same for each one. Uh, it's just that like you need to find different bits of the uh, map now. Because I've got a poke on it, my energy should not go down. So hopefully we see a little bit more of the map, maybe some bigger creatures and stuff. But to be fair, I think a lot of kids wouldn't have seen past this bit. Oh, the quarry is dead. I thought we had a po <laughs> we had a poke on, but that didn't work. We died extra super first. Oh man, oh, well, let's have another go then. We'll, we'll put. A, I thought the poke was working, obviously it isn't. We'll have, we'll have another go in a minute, but let's just try and do a proper go, see if I can advance. So this is very reflective of, of your first or second go, might be reflective of all your goes. I'm not sure what this is scored back in the day, I don't think it would have done very well, because the scroll, although well, it's an interesting subject matter, not using the whole screen, of course, possibly because I've got one player instead of two player, um, it's a bit bewildering. And you die a little bit uh, too quick, and yeah, it, it's, it's a little bit soulless to be honest with you. Um, the scrolling isn't uh, brilliant, I might be being a bit cruel, but 1987 I think there's better things that you could have been doing. It's not a bad game, it's just this it's a nice idea, it's just it's not fully working for me. It needs to, be, needs to be a bit easier, and that change of scenery all of a sudden is a bit grating. Uh, different enemies, it looks like each place you go to. The quarry is dead again. Right, let's try a slightly different poke then. I'm determined to show you a bit more of this game. So we're cheating, basically. Go, 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 Nick. Good luck, Big Nose. Right, that should be... I think that should be something uh, in now. School bonus is collecting gold, escaping the valley, achieving objectives. As I said before, if you've escaped the valley, let me know. Right, look at that sword there. Is that going to go down? I don't know what weapon this priest has got. Just that big thing with the uh, the Manic Miner robot head on. So, you know, if that, if that doesn't get us to victory, I don't know what will. Uh, we're starting off in a sort of like cave with blue stalagmites, or cyan stalagmites and stalactites. If you're in a blue cave, oh, look at that. If you're in a blue cave, then come below as we go oh man this I don't like this game at all even with a, even with a Pokemon it's just it's just yeah at least if you're gonna do such an abrupt change of scenery as that maybe they didn't want to slow down the gameplay at least, at least put you know a, a continue screen where or get a bit of atmosphere create a bit of atmosphere put we're now heading into the, the jungle jungle something 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 not just a brief change like that. Oh god. This game this game's annoying me a little bit to be honest with you. Alright, here we go. This is what I want to see. There's a junction, you can go north and east. So you might remember bits like this, uh, from uh, those fantasy books where it said if you want to go east, turn to page sixty-eight, if you wanna to go to south, play to page ninety-two, you go to page ninety-two and you get clobbered on the head by a by a by a big uh, ogre and die, and you thought, right, let's go to the other page. You could cheat back then. Right, take that, unless you did it properly, but then it would be a lot of reading. Right, come on, big nose. Uh, so, yeah, so depending on whether you do the priest, the barbarian, or the thief, the gameplay is exactly the same. Although you've got different, slightly different side missions to do, which means finding bits of the map. So, where I went east or south, obviously go in a different direction. But uh, it looks like we're going around in a big, 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 big circle. East, that's or south? Uh, let's go south, man. No, east, man. Let's go east. South. We've gone south. It's the Green Mountains of Virginia. In the Green Ridge Mountains of Virginia. So I'm, I, normally I would have turned this off by now, but I'm only, I'm only playing it so we can get a proper review of the sort of like game. Now you don't have to agree with me whether you like it or not. I, I don't particularly uh, like it. It's, it's, it's not moving very smoothly, and um, it, it's not very exciting uh, for me. If you compare this to games like Golden, well, Golden Axe with the greatest conversions, but it was better than this. D -d 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 nice idea, but um, yeah, I suppose uh, you know nostalgia is a great part to play in it. If a kid just had this and nothing else and was into the books as well, this would be a good addition if they got bored from reading for a little bit. But uh, I don't think they would have progressed very far, and I think the difficulty level would have killed the thing. But as I say, there might be a few things that I'm not doing. There might be a few extra tips or a weapon you can pick up to shoot a bow and arrow at people that might liven up considerably. Um, the only interest, <laughs> the only interest really is seeing the new location. Suddenly, a big castle suddenly turns up out of nowhere. 
do, do, do. So collecting gold might be useful. We might be able to find a shop to buy stuff, but I, I can't see buy food. I can't see myself achieving any of these uh, objectives at all. You see, my stamina went up a bit there when I bought the uh, food, but even if it goes down to zero, I'm not going to die with the poke on it. So it's essential to eat food, buy food, collect gold, and most of these enemies are, are finding gold of some description. But I, I, I guess that the amount of people that complete this game uh, who bought it is probably less than 0.01 of a percent. Read the books, Jewel Master fighting fantasy books, uh, Blood uh, Valley. If you had any of those other Jewel Master fighting books, I, I, I had this purple one with a big jag dragon on the front, but I don't know if that was Jewel Master. Probably wasn't. I only bought it because it had a big dragon on the front. Uh, kids were suckers for that sort of thing, and I certainly uh, was there. Right, I don't think I'll play this too much longer. Not a great deal is happening. I'm lost. I need a map. See, wasn't this where we started, but with a cyan cave instead of a yellow cave? Right, someone's firing snowflakes at me and we're being attacked by Ken Dodd's Diddy Men, if you know who they are. I mean, the Diddy Men aren't going to give us any more trouble, are they? Or maybe they're those, like, elves in Golden Axe with the magic potions, but we haven't got any magic we can uh, let off. So, we, you know, I haven't completed any of those. Oh, I can't go any further than that. So I've reached the end of that direction. Seem to go back where we came. He just does, like, a moonwalk against the wall. Well, I think we've probably seen enough of that. I, nice idea, but very, very average, and not a lot of kids would have gone back to it because of the, the, the difficulty level is ranked too high. I won't be coming back to it, but you might like it if you've got any nostalgia uh, for it. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Blood Valley on the ZX Spectrum 128K, published by Gremlin Graphics in 1987. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, um, those Choose Your Own Adventure books, or anything like that, then by all means put that in the comment section below. It's great having a bit of a conversation. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond uh, goodbye. Goodbye.